Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome on this 9th of August, the 10th Sunday of Pentecost. And outside we are where we've been before. But Lord and mercy, take a look of the way the outside looks now. At St. Francis, for me, this is magic. I come in and, whoa, how all did this happen? Well, it might be magic for me, but for Carol and Ed DeWolf, who work like dogs in heat this week, wasn't magic for them. But notice, if you will, this outsideness. And besides all of that, now a base on this. I know it looks like a bird bath, but this is where we burn the palms, bless the palms, do the fire for vigil, one of the sacred places on this. Again, look at how clean and fresh. In 1999, I was in Israel and in Nazareth saw a tree that was a poinsettia tree. Now, this doesn't rival a poinsettia tree from Nazareth, but I have never in my life seen a poinsettia like this. And it is to me an image and story of the church from a Christmas Eve, Christmas celebration to being planted. I gotta tell you, where Sherry and I have lived in Pennsylvania, Colorado, Utah, and New York City, poinsettias didn't grow like this. And you may have seen from other pictures, this bloomed up until Easter of this year. So for this particular day in the midst of all this COVID stuff and rejoicing in outside, this reflection from Bishop Stephen Charleston for you and for me in this time of plague, but nonetheless, the sun shines and the plants grow. We are not constrained by these days, as difficult as they may seem, to spend our hours in grim solitude or to feel ourselves in a perpetual waiting room for the bad news the virus decides to send us. We are as free in our spirits as we ever were, able to claim our freedom through faith anytime we want, and by so doing, rise on outspread wings to the distant heights of hope. Even alone in a room with no resources other than prayer, we can silently slip the bonds of worry and be off as we once were so long ago on the voyage of discovery, following the spirit wherever she leads out to the edge of wonder and back. Accept no substitute for your life, but live as fully as you can and watch your fears fall before you as you fly the open skies of faith soaring as far as as far as your heart will take you and with that the sun blesses us with light amen